Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, November 14th. I'm Zane Sanders, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be an informational meeting for all boys and girls tennis players tomorrow at 12.15 p.m. in the gym. Civil Air Patrol is a volunteer organization in which the cadets are trained to embrace the core values of Air Force as well as allow them to participate in things such as emergency services, color and honor guards, orientation flights, drills and ceremonies, and volunteer services such as helping work at air shows, Meetings occur every Wednesday from 6.45 to 8.45 at Patrick Composite Squadron 3650 Shearwater Parkway in Satellite. Is it the end of the world as we know it? Find out t with today's release of the new video game Fallout 76. Here's Mahmoud Saeed with more of the story. After three weeks of open beta, Fallout 76 will fully release on November 14th. The game will have a $60 price tag, but deviates from traditional Fallout games by featuring a multiplayer interface. They don't have like a really traditional storyline where it's just you. Uh, they have other people in the map, but the map itself is so huge that you really don't see anybody else. So it's kind of just your own self. If you want to play with your friends, you can. I mean, I traditionally go more solo, even in the multiplayer aspect of it. So. The new Fallout game is completely multiplayer uh, compared to the other Fallouts where only single player. So I'm kind of intrigued how they're going to uh, add these all new multiplayer aspects and how to keep fans engaged because I know there's a, there's a ton of backlash uh, from diehard Fallout fans. This has been Mahmoud Syed reporting for WCTZ News. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the WCTZ News. This has been Zane Sanders. Have a fantastic day, Wildcats.